just told, I just messaged Coral to let her know we did her jokes, and she said, "What? What do you mean?" I said, "Oh, we missed you." <laughs> <laughs> we know your jokes. I think she got a little nervous there. Okay, our next comic um, is I, like I said, I've known. And um, someday I'll see him in person, and I'll be six feet away, and I'll be like, hi, it's so good to see you in person. A real funny guy and very physical, Ezra Paco. Yeah. Here we go to play myself in. Since you mentioned... Since you, men since you mentioned Nirvana, uh... <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> good night, everybody. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Hey, we're, this is supposed to be one of those funny shows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> where, where the hell am I going to go? I'm in Santa Maria. I haven't gone anywhere in my life. I'm still in Santa Maria, so, like, I've gone anywhere. <clears throat> but, um, man, like, I actually could have listened to Marcel for a while. There. His voice is just soothing. Like, you should be reading... Something, just anything. You could be, just be reading like ingredients, and I'd listen to Marcel talk. It's <laughs> so awesome. I mean, everybody's got really cool voices, and I, I don't know, did, did did he? Like, I hope not. Like, I, I accidentally like dropped my guitar during his set. I was like, oh shit, my thing was like on, and I hope he wasn't. I, I, he's he's awesome to hear. My my voice is terrible. My voice is like nails on a chalkboard, and. Uh, but poor Matthew put up with my voice for almost two hours during their podcast. So I don't, I don't have a cool voice like people from like, like like Sebastian Maniscal because like my father's trying to, he he wants to order a pizza or like or like Bill Burr. He's like you know you know like all these people have cool ass accents and I don't have a cool accent. Like I sound stupid or even like Larry the K Young too. All right, like everybody's got cool accents and. I don't, so I have to work with this. I'm like, thank you, Lord, for making me sound like like my mom, so people mistake me for her on the phone. They're like, Mar like saying like, my Mary, like my grandma calls me, or I'm just kidding, my grandma don't call, she's dead. <laughs> I can say that, you know, like we we got Gail, so we got people that are way cooler than my relatives. Like Matthew told me he thought we could be cousins. You're cooler than my cousin. My cousins don't give a flying fuck at a rolling donut about me. I haven't heard from my cousins in ever in a day. If apparently uh, my mom's last name is Stoltz. Apparently I'm related to Eric Stoltz. He wouldn't know who I was if I even ran into him in public. He'd be like, "You're just trying to get money out of me, you freaky ass Asian Jack Black looking motherfucker. Get away from me!" Like, and I'm like, "Hey, uh, give me money. We're related." And, I'm like, you played the heroin dealer, you know, in Pulp Fiction. Do you have any heroin? Like, I mean, <laughs> I'd be like, come on, like, hook me up. Like, hook, hook your cousin up, man. I thought we were cool. <laughs> it wasn't Bobby Hill, but I, but I can do a halt in the hell. Halt in the hell, Bobby. Now, wait a minute. I sell propane and propane accessories. Like, that's as far as I can go with that one. Um, I don't do many impersonations. Like, I'm, I'm working on a couple, like, I don't. I feel we're doing them because what? I don't want to get pigeonholed, or do I? I'll take any hole I can get right now. <laughs> I'm. I'm just kidding. You know, I. I. I, I get. I get. I get plenty of what I. What I need. Um, since everyone's talking about going down on people, I'm here to educate you, gentlemen. So, uh, I. I want this to be world. World known. I'm gonna spread the love, and I'm gonna tell you how to spread the love. You. You gentlemen or women, whoever you're. Uh, like, oh, I don't go down there. I get tired. I, you, know, you have excuses for not going down there. If you go down, you can get whatever you want after you go down there. You can go down there and bring them to, like, the apex and then be like, okay, now I did that. Now it's my turn. And you peep, gentlemen, this isn't even a joke. This is a manual. Go, go write this down. I have a little <laughs> technique, and Sh Shalane will verify. I call it the, uh, I call it the X grip because you go down there, and you're like, oh, and you're like, <gasps> can't hold yourself up. I call it the X grip because when you're down there, you just BAM! X grip. You just BAM! And then you can kind of get where you need to be. You can get to the door. You move the shrubbery, get to the door. You can get to the doorbell and just ding, 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 just like ring, ling, 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 ling. Like, so you could do that. Like, that's the X grip. Yes, he did pop up like the end. Like, Undertaker, arise, arise. 
My Mumsley! <laughs> Mumsley Awaken! Oh. Are you sharing a bed there? Or, I'm sorry. Yeah. No, no, um, not yet. No, he got a. He got like sandblasted. His uh, neighbor, actually, his gardener, was like, hey, uh, he's can, yeah, he's asked him to help him with uh, pull something out of the ground there, and then he and pulled then all it. All of a sudden, just got like a couple hundred pounds of water pressure and dirt all over my eyes. It fucking sucked. So he's like, he's like, he's like, he's like icing it right now, and I'm like, man. Aww. I'm like, this guy has enough to put up with, like, already, uh, he, he, he's got a son with autism, so everybody who has autism, all, all you people who have, uh, who do have autism and do this, like, my heart really goes, do you, like, kudos, no joke, and, like, that's some serious shit, and you guys are phenomenal for being able to do comedy and have autism, like, that yeah. is absolutely just, like, phenomenal, because <laughs> he, uh, Oh, you know, when you have a kid with someone and like you're not with the mom, they oh, when you turn 18, like I can't. When my son turns 18, I'm like, yeah, I'm paying shit for child support. I'm done skis. I can't Ooh. wait till my son turns 18. I think I have a day count somewhere even. But um, when your son turns 18 and you have autism, like your job keeps going. Like he's gonna have to work with her forever. So I'm like, man, like, cause I have a baby's mom and it's hard working with your baby's mom all the time. You got to coordinate and like. It really tests your your fortitude. So if anybody has to live in that kind of situation, putting up with your son's mother, baby mama, whatever, my heart goes out to you. That being said, uh, again, Matthew McCarr and I, we, we did the yeah we did we did the Zoom thing. We uh, the um, the podcast. And it was super cool. I like Zoom. A lot of people are like what? I don't like it. It's not personal. I don't want personal. I say this almost every time I do these that people drive the shit out of me crazy. And in Zoom, you can have a conversation without someone being all stupid nosy about like someone nosing in like I heard you say Mandalorian. I want to talk. And I'm like fuck off. We're not talking to you. Like <laughs> my uh, my wife and I call it a consensual conversation. Like if we didn't agree if we didn't sign the contract to have a consensual conversation, you can like X, Y, Z, why are you talking? Like, whatever the hell they used to say. I think I fucked that one up, but... Yeah, they used to say, this is an X and Z conversation, so why are you talking? Yeah, like, people are nosy as hell. Like, so I'm like, hey, my dad used to say, don't be nosy. He'd say, you stick your spoon in someone else's soup, now eat it. And now that we have Zoom, we can have conversations without people being all annoying and uh, trying to chime in. And, and another thing that kind of has been bugging the hell out of me is... uh. We all know, yeah, that one. <laughs> see, see your way out, that one. But um, everybody has what we call my. I'm teaching you guys. I taught you X grip. Here's another thing for your notes, cause I, cause I'm teaching you. This yeah, X grip. Yeah, you, you, and yeah, whatever, what, cause it helps you. Cause like this, this. You you find you can kind of bat it back and forth like that, like, like. It's a pinball game. You know like. The, and the thing, the things that are associated with touching yourself, like, like, okay, uh... I'm going to ask Jackie this. Could you do a blowjob at a guy and have the X like this? Like, on you? Like, he's pulling, he's getting to the button, you know, he's... Why did this particular comment go to me? I want to know. <laughs> because you're the wise one. Because so you're the, you're, you're the beacon. <laughs> because... Sorry, well, well, no, Jackie's one of those, like, well, what does Jackie think? Like, you what have, you have that, think? like... That Sorry, something yeah. to you where we're no, like, no, no. like people would tune in and be like, well, I want to see what Jackie thinks. Is she on at eleven? Yeah, yeah I want to see what she thinks. Like you tune in for you tune in for a Jackie. Well, hey, we'll do a combo workshop. You you teach blowjobs, I'll teach kind of linguist, and we'll be like we'll, we'll split the funds 50 /50. We'll teach people how this is done. Mm -hmm. We we'll do. Matthew, <laughs> The Andy Dick thing, like, mind the steps, and so he's doing it to, like, who's hungry, who's hungry. As a side note, we met Andy Dick, and he was fucking awesome. My wife and I met him. Really? Yeah, he was super cool. Like, and it was really surreal when we met him, because we had just saw Nine Inch Nails' Sound Garden show. And we had Nine Inch Nails shirts on, and we met him. He was like, don't they sing Black Hole Sun? And, like, I was like, dude, Andy Dick just sang us Black Hole Sun, like, in the back of a moving van. Like, we, we get super starstruck, because in Santa Maria, you don't meet anybody. Like, no one's going to come through here, but we end up going to uh, Hollywood, and we're like, that's Andy Dick, pull over. And I, like, pulled over. I don't care where the hell I was. And he's like, you guys pulled over 
just to meet me? And we're like, yeah, and he gave us a hug. I was like, dude, we just watched, like, Cable Guy the other day, and Andy Dick's dope. Like, I don't care what anybody says. Like, he was yeah, nice hilarious. to us. He is. I mean, the state, like, dude, dude's a legend. Yeah. Man, but, like, I, ha, I totally sidetracked myself because I was teaching Sorry, you guys. Was, but the X. Yeah, no, it's good. Oh, we're learning. That's what we're doing. We're learning, and, and good learning gets sidetracked. So, <laughs> back on track, class. Take out your notebooks. I want you to write down a word, asshole. A-S-K-H-O-L-E. Asshole. They're the people who ask you your opinion, and then they f don't fucking do what you suggest. Like, what do you think I should do? Should I, should I uh, order a red dress, or should I order blue? Oh, you should order red. Well, I'm going to order blue. Like, <laughs> fuck off then. <laughs> my, my wife and I deal with ass coals every day. We're probably related to some of them where they're like, well, I don't know. Don't fucking ask me what you think if you're just going to. You, you only want to know, like, to argue, like, oh, well, he said that, so I'm going to do this. Are you doing reverse psychology on me? You just don't trust my opinion. You're like, should I order steak or chicken? You should get chicken. Well, I'll get steak. Fuck off, asshole. Like, so keep your eye out for assholes because they are out there and they will get to you. Um, gosh, <laughs> I, I got sidetracked and I loved it. I don't even care. That's why I said I, I love this Zoom comedy. I love what I'm doing here. I'm having a really good time with you guys. But if you think I'm funny, Jackie Pearl's going to be on next. So I'm going to play myself out here and then we are going to get on with the show here. So here we go. Thank you, guys. All right. Oh, there's Ezra's YouTube there. Okay. Ezra Paco. Thank that you, Matthew. Awesome. I, Thank I, you, I, Melanie. I this out of my mind, and I went like this. Don't get it out of your mind. Go find guys and be like, hey, uh, I got this thing you should try. And be like, this is just for science purposes. And, and then this is for science and research. Say I'm researching okay. here, so I'm going to lay back, and you're going to research, and then see if they got their X group down or not, or are they kind of like... <laughs> Find guys, yeah. Yeah, or yeah. girls. You can find girls. They'll probably do it better. Well, my dad wants to be a lesbian anyways. He's well, there like, you oh, go. You should be a lesbian. You have a bad luck with men. So, okay, anyways. <laughs> there you I go. Have 